Hi guys, welcome to this beginner's guide to AWS Lambda. I'm Johnny Chivers. I'm a data engineer with over 10 years experience working Monday to Friday in the financial services sector. I'm five times AWS certified and I like nothing more in my spare time than making videos for my YouTube channel and website on AWS, spreading that knowledge for free. What is AWS Lambda? AWS Lambda is a serverless compute service brought to us by AWS. It lets us run code in the cloud without having to provision servers. This means that there's basically zero administration cost. All we have to do is upload our code as a zip file or a container. Or alternatively, if we want to get started quickly, we can code directly into the console. It works for several runtimes. These include Go, Python, Java, Node.js, to name but a few. And we only pay for what we use. Out of the box, we get an execution limit time of 15 minutes maximum and over 10 gigabits of RAM. It integrates with over 140 other AWS services that can act as a trigger. But why use AWS Lambda? There's no servers to provision, so that overhead is removed. It works straight out of the box. It works at any scale, as in it scales as large as we need it. We only pay for what we use, by the millisecond and it's performant. But when do we use AWS Lambda? We use it when we need a compute service, but it doesn't need to be on all the time. It's ideal for event-driven architecture or even microservices. So for example, if we have an API gateway that provides an API to an end user, we can set a Lambda in behind that call and it can carry out the compute work in a containerized fashion that we only pay for what we use. And as more users hit the API, more Lambda scale to meet that demand. I always find the best way to learn an AWS service is by doing. So we're going to do a quick tour on the console, write our first Lambda function and get started. There's loads of other videos on this YouTube channel that use AWS Lambda in depth. I'll put a few recommendations at the top. And if you're interested, check out my website where there's more information. Okay guys, that's me logged into the console. So let's go to Lambda. And as I said, this is just a quick demo on how it works for a beginner. Click on Lambda itself. This is the new updated console preview, so it looks a bit different than maybe what you've seen before. Two options next, we can go create function here, or you can go functions down the left and then create function. So down the left I went, create function. We want to um, author from scratch. We need to give this function a name, so I'm just gonna call it test demo lambda. I'm a bit of a Python fan, so I'm going to choose Python. It's going to create a default execution rule. So again, we're just using the basic Lambda. If you don't change this, it creates a rule for the Lambda and just gives it a basic execution, which includes CloudWatch. You don't have access to any of the other services, but that's fine for now. And let's create the function. It takes a few seconds and that's your function created. So if you just click on the code file there, Lambda function, you can see that that is our function. And it's just going to say hello from Lambda. So a quick tour, we have test, which has a JSON value that we can enter keys into. We'll have a look at that in a little second. We have monitor that just gives us some metrics and logs once you've run your Lambda. Configuration that tells you about triggers, permissions, tags. It's very, very detailed in this section, but it's not really relevant for this beginner's guide. The most important things to point out here is that we have 128 megabits of memory as default because I didn't change any of the settings, and we have a timeout of three seconds. If you wanted to edit any of this, we just click edit, and then I can go up in the timeout. So I could go up to 12 seconds, for example, and then just save. And you can see now, it's 12 seconds. Aliases is when you want to give your Lambda an alias name and versions is if you want to keep versions of your Lambda as you publish it. So back to code. And the first thing we're going to do is test. So it's going to ask us about this test event. Let's call it test. And while we're here, let's delete these two other values. Let's keep this as key one. And let's enter our names here. So I am Johnny. Shivers. And we're going to create. Now it's not going to do anything right now, but if we hit test, you can see that that little hello from Lambda has appeared. But what happens if I want to access that test event? Well, everything comes in through event. So all we need to do down here is get rid of that hello from Lambda and we can put in event, two square brackets, and then it was key one. So this time it's going to print our name. 
most important thing to do here is deploy because changes are not deployed until you click deploy so we click deploy changes are deployed we can hit test and then you can see that it's bringing out my name instead now that's a very simple introduction to lambda i hope it gets you going so that's everything for today guys then i've been johnny chivers as usual i'll make all this information for free on my website www.johnnychivers.co.uk and until next time thanks for watching